So this is an abstract that has been led by uh, one of our phenomenal hematology oncology fellows, Dr. Andrew Jaluk. Uh, we have been trying to understand whether it's safe when necessary to delay infusion of CAR T cells after completion of lymphodepleting chemo. This is not an uncommon scenario. Sometimes after we complete the three days of fludarabine and cyclophosphamide as lymphodepletion, things happen. Patients may have an infection or other complications, sometimes can also be logistic, that delay infusion of CAR T. Uh, if you look into the FDA label for Yescarta, there's a very specific time frame within which the product should be delivered, but there are restraints for Kimraya or Brianzi. Uh, but there are no biological, translational, clinical data to support whether it's safe to do that. So in this study, we look retrospectively to all patients with large cell lymphoma who receive Yescarta, standard care Yescarta at MD Anderson since 2018. And we were able to identify the non insignificant fraction of them had a delay. It could be as short as one day and sometimes as long as longer than 10 days. And we retrospectively look into their outcomes and compare them to uh, a match cohort, looking into multiple factors. So first of all, we noticed that patients who had a delay as compared to those who didn't, as expected, were patients who had lower baseline counts and those who had more, uh, who had received more lines of previous treatment. That makes sense because the main reason for delaying treatment were infections. So those whose immune system was compromised from the get-go were more likely to develop infections and not to receive their product on time. So we matched those two populations based on counts to make sure there were no other meaningful differences. And even after matching, patients who had a delay in the infusion of CAR-T product had a much shorter progression-free survival. That makes sense because the reason why we provide lymphodepleting chemo is to try to, on one side, uh, decrease as much as possible the number of endogenous lymphocytes that would compete with CAR-T cells for cytokines and chemokines, but also to suppress myeloid cells that can hamper CAR-T cell activity. We, to this regard, we actually looked into cytokines, which are very relevant to CAR T cell proliferation and that are supposed to be increased by lymphodepleting chemo, such as interleukin-2, interleukin-7, interleukin-15. And very clearly, those who had a delay had lower levels of those interleukins. So while there's no way to prevent an infection, and uh, what these data are telling us is that in case there's any delay, particularly for longer than one day, we should probably either consider to just uh, redo lymphodepleting chemo several weeks later, if the safe or we need to develop novel strategies where we maybe combine to a delay CAR-T product um, endogenous, exogenous uh, chemokines such as interleukin-15.